We've got uh, milk chocolate, Swiss cheese, fondue. My lactose intolerant boyfriend is gonna eat all this and I'm gonna climb on his back and rock it to the moon. <laughs> No. <laughs> but it does involve air travel. <laughs> okay, um, let me slice this Swiss cheese with my Swiss army knife, and then you can wash it down with a cup of Swiss Miss Instant Cocoa. Okay, I'm starting to think Swiss is key here. Uh-huh. We're going to Disneyland and ride the Matterhorn. <laughs> How does that involve air travel? We're going to Disney World and ride the Matterhorn. No. Okay, sweetie, this started out fun, but I'm over it. <laughs> We're going to Switzerland to see the CERN Super Collider. <laughs> and ski, we'll also go skiing. We're going skiing in Switzerland? Well, you'll ski, I'll fall. But yeah, <laughs> uh, we will be in Switzerland for Valentine's Day. Oh my God! Leonard, that's incredible! Not so fast. You might want to hold off on lighting your Ribeleachly penny. My Ribe Whatley? Ribeleachly, it means turn up light and refers to a traditional lantern hand carved from a root vegetable and used to celebrate certain Swiss festivals, which you will not be celebrating because A, these festivals occur in the fall. And B, you will not be going to Switzerland. Sheldon, we've been through this. I'm taking Penny. Afraid not. Do you recognize this? Uh, not the roommate agreement. Indeed, <laughs> the roommate agreement. I call your attention to the friendship rider in Appendix C, Future Commitments, number 37. In the event one friend is ever invited to visit the Large Hadron Collider, now under construction in Switzerland, he shall invite the other friend to accompany him. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> You actually put that in an agreement? Uh, yeah, we also put in what happens if one of us wins a MacArthur grant, or if one of us gets superpowers, or if one of us is bitten by a zombie. He can't kill me, even if I turn. Is there anything in there about if one of you gets a girlfriend? No, that seemed a little far-fetched. <laughs> Sheldon, do you really expect to enforce this? I've lived up to all my commitments under the agreement. At least once a day I ask how you are, even though I simply don't care. I no longer stage spontaneous biohazard drills after 10 p.m. And I abandon my goal to master Tuvan throat singing. Okay, I know I shouldn't ask, but what it is... To I'd be much further along if I'd been allowed to practice. Look, 